all set. That's it. That's the first dose. Here's your card. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Pinoy Life in La La Land. This is your friendly host, Ren Luna. This is a follow-up video because the last time I had my vlog, I was trying to make an appointment for my COVID vaccination. And luckily I wasn't able to get one because it was fully booked. But after making some follow-up, luckily I was able to get one. This is what I'm gonna share with you, the actual video footage of that COVID vaccination dose, dose one. But before I show you the actual footage of my first vaccine shot, please subscribe to my channel, especially if you are new, and especially if you, if you have not subscribed yet. As of this third week of March 2021, there were about 100, over 100 million doses of vaccines had been administered uh, to many or to millions and millions of U.S. residents. Meaning to say, there were millions and millions of U.S. residents who have been vaccinated for COVID-19. I'm gonna get my vaccine shot today. Luckily, I was able to get a slot. My first dose of the vaccine will be given now. The U.S. government have just rolled out the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines in the late uh, weeks of December last year. And just most recently, Johnson & Johnson vaccines, which is also known as the Janssen COVID vaccine, have joined the game. So, what significant information we can learn from these different vaccines? We're gonna find out. About the Moderna vaccine, this is a US-based biotech company that is based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, United States. While Pfizer is an American multinational uh, company that is based in, or that is her headquartered in New York. And Janssen COVID vaccine, which is the maker or the manufacturer, is Johnson & Johnson's, is headquartered in Brunswick, New Jersey, United States. And take note, what is the commonality of these three vaccines? Well, these three vaccines has had uh, funding from the U.S. government in order for them to develop or to have a swift development of the vaccines to fight against COVID-19. The Operation Warp funding by the Trump administration, these three companies received fundings in millions of dollars in exchange that the first 100 doses of their vaccines will be delivered to the American or to the U.S. government. Today is my first vaccine shot, my first dose. I'm here at Rite Aid. Here now uh, to take my first vaccine shot. I'm gonna take the Moderna. And here's the pharmacist who can administer my shot. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm here at Rite Aid. Luckily, I got the, a, a slot because it's so hard to get it. Cool. Okay. And there is another fourth player who entered the game. This is the company, this biotech company is based in United Kingdom or in England. And this is the AstraZeneca. But as of this time, uh, AstraZeneca has not officially rolled out their vaccine here in the United States. And what is the big commonality of these four major vaccines that have been developed so far? What is the big commonality? Oh, well, the big commonality of these four vaccines, all these four vaccines have not received the final approval yet from the FDA. So, why then 
these vaccines are being used or being administered to millions and millions of people, not just here in the United States, but around the world. Oh, well, the answer is because of the power of the FDA to issue the what we call emergency use authorization. Only the FDA can issue that authorization, especially when it comes to emergency or when it comes to pandemic. And what is this emergency use authorization of the FDA? Check this video clip. You're going to find out. What is emergency use authorization? An emergency use authorization is a mechanism to facilitate the availability and use of medical countermeasures, including vaccines, during public health emergencies, such as the current COVID-19 pandemic. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has issued many use emergency authorizations, known as EUAs, for tests as well as treatments. In an emergency-like pandemic, it may not be possible to have all the evidence that the FDA would usually have before approving a drug, device, or a test. When there is a declared emergency, the FDA can make a judgment that it's worth releasing something for use even without all the evidence that would fully establish its effectiveness and safety. If there is evidence that strongly suggests that patients have benefited from a treatment or test, the agency can issue an emergency use authorization to make it available. One of the minimum requirements for the FDA to consider issuing emergency use authorization is the known and potential benefits outweigh the known potential risks. And that is the commonality of all the vaccines that are being administered to all humans across the globe. That is the vaccines that are being vaccinated to our body. And that is the same commonality of the vaccine that is being developed and will pretty soon join the game. Because it really takes years to develop a vaccine. And to develop a vaccine, it, it is really a complex science. That's why it takes so many years to finally develop a great and beautiful vaccine. And this may be the very big reason, the big reason why are there so many people who are still adamant, who are still hesitant uh, to take uh, the vaccine. This may be the very reason why they don't want to get vaccinated. And this may be the very reason why there are so many people who are anti-vaccine. That's it. That's the first dose. There's your card. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. This is my first dose, right? Yeah. So I'm dose. taking Moderna. Oh, I took Moderna. I'm going to take Moderna again the next time. Yes. Okay, in two weeks' time, right? Four weeks. Oh, in four weeks. Why is it in four weeks? This one is four weeks, the other one is three weeks. Uh, oh, okay. I thought like in two weeks' time. No, this one is four weeks. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's good. Great. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.
And this is the topic that I'm going to discuss with you in my next uh, vlog. I will share with you the sentiments of those people who are anti-vaccine. I will share with you the message of those people who are in favor of getting the vaccine. So, I hope you will follow me in my next uh, video vlogs. Uh, I hope you will uh, follow me again. Thank you.